The demands of going to deep space will push old designs to new limits. This looks good. Looks good. Hey, new glove. Should be good. Sounds good. My name is Lindsay Aitchison, and I am a spacesuit project engineer at NASA Johnson Space Center. I first started thinking about spaceflight when I was four years old, when I first came to JSC to take a tour at the visitor center. We have pictures of me just sitting inside this spacesuit, and I just knew that's what I wanted to do. When the Apollo suits were first done, those were very short duration EVAs. We didn't have a lot of mobility in that suit, so when you see those astronauts hopping around on the lunar surface, it's not because they themselves are clumsy or that the gravity is just impossible to deal with. We didn't give them enough mobility in the suits, so we learned a lot from that. For the next generation suit, there's still a lot that we don't know about what it's going to be like to live and work on Mars every day. Once there, you'd be doing EVA, walking outside on the planet about every other day. Once we have the hardware in-house, we become the experts of how that hardware works, what it does, and how it meets the needs for our next phase of our mission design. We actually get into the suits because the best way to understand how a spacesuit moves is to be inside of it and work it yourself. I'll be asking Richard to perform specific tasks. And what I'm looking at is, what is his gait like? And so I'm watching how the bearings in the hip move and how the bearings in the waist move. And by comparing natural body motion to suited body motion, we can start to tweak the design of the suit to make it more natural. So that's what we're focusing on for exploration, is how do you walk, how do you bend, how do you kneel, how do you do all those geology-type tasks? <laughs> 